was in the mountains yesterday. Today, round number two. Unfortunately, round number two is coming from a system that produced deadly tornadoes last night in Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee. Uh, three fatalities at least that I know of this morning, possibly more. Really nasty situation. That same system heading our way has the potential to produce some severe weather in our region, though it's not going to be as severe. Here's a quick loop, and you can see the line of showers and storms moving through Tennessee heading our way. Let me pause this real quickly, and I'll show you this line. It's just beginning to enter the mountains right now. The cold front itself is still pretty far back to the west. So here's the line of storms moving off to the east in this general direction. It's going to take a while to get here. It'll move into the mountains probably mid to early afternoon and then move into the Piedmont this evening. The actual cold front is way back here and still has a way to go, but you can kind of see how the system is unfolding. Behind it is much cooler air. We are going to see a significant cool down on the back side of the system. Ahead of it, temperatures are in the 60s and 70s. Feels like uh, spring out there, but trust me, the cool air is coming. In fact, so cold that this will be some of the coldest air we've seen so far this season and maybe another chance of rain for the weekend. We are under a marginal risk, they call, so kind of a low-end risk for severe storms today. Let me show you that real quickly. I'll turn off some of these layers so you can see that um, just ahead of this main line. You can see that kind of dark green area. This is what we call the low-end threat for severe storms. The yellow threat is an elevated area, kind of what we would expect to see a better chance. So if we're going to see some stronger storms, they'll likely be in South Carolina, <clears throat> excuse me, but all of North Carolina in that marginal risk, kind of a low end, I'd say 10 to 15 percent chance you'll run into these storms. As far as what it looks like going into the afternoon, here's our future cast. We'll go out through the afternoon hours. We'll stop this thing at about 1 o'clock this afternoon, and you can see the storm's just beginning to enter the mountains. We'll go to 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. This is when the heavy rain moves in. And the good news, there will be heavy rain with this, especially in the mountains. So uh, this will be a, another good soaker. Now, this is when we start getting into the evening hours. Around 5, 6 o'clock is when it enters the Piedmont. This is the area we'll have to watch, these individual cells embedded in here. This is sometimes what we call a quasi linear convective system and it's just a fancy name for a squiggly line of storms when they're squiggly that typically means you're getting some inflow from one side buckling the storm out and then another punch of air coming like this and in between you sometimes can get some little spin-ups so what we look for is when we got these s curves going on we're looking for areas where the where the curve is s'ing like this we're not so worried about this. We're not so much worried about this. We're worried about the area right in between because this is sometimes where you can get um, a quick spin up. So that'll be something we certainly watch. This is going through 6 o'clock. This is 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So you can see that time frame. We'll back it up here. Um, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock just to give you a heads up. So as far as the overall threat, I still think damaging winds are going to be the main concern. You can see I have that just nosing into the medium range, but a tornado threat cannot be ruled out. And here's a good look at the timing. I think we'll start to see some scattered storms early af afternoon, but the timing right now, excuse me, I'm finding some allergies here, um, is right in here. That's 6, 7, um, 8, 9, 10 o'clock time frame. So evening would be the main concern for the system. So that's an update. Make sure you stay weather aware today. The potential is certainly there that we could see some, some stronger storms develop this afternoon and into the evening hours. I'm actually off today, but um, I'm kind of on call. So I'll be monitoring this from home. Meteorologist Sarah Fortner is in studio. She's got you completely covered, but know that I'll be watching carefully from home. And um, <laughs> if we need to go, <coughs> excuse me, full bore on this we will i will keep my facebook and twitter feed updated throughout the afternoon if any watches or warnings are issued have a great great wednesday and please stay weather aware have at least three ways to get warnings today tv social media apps all work either a weather radio um phone calls it doesn't matter there's multiple ways to get warnings but make sure you got three of them you need some redundancy and make sure you follow me on twitter and facebook wx brad um, I don't often plead for people to follow me, but in severe weather, people that do follow me know I keep it up to date all the time. So tell your friends, if you do one thing, follow me on Facebook and Twitter just for severe weather.